Hello and welcome to another episode. We are your hosts. I'm Sean Calhoun and my lovely wife. I'm Christina. And today we're going to be talking about secrets. Secrets. Now, there are a lot of offers being written, but I mean, I'm talking about on a house, one house, 22 offers, 47 to 50 showings in one weekend right this is crazy crazy what is the secret to getting your offer accepted in a hot seller's market we're going to drop it for you today but first christina how can people find out about more tips more training all that good stuff you can go to prettyhomeacademy.com and we just released our new website prettyhomerealty.com. You, you can do real-time searches of homes and you can also get an instant price valuation for your current home if What's you're interested. Mm -hmm. That's right. Awesome. Yep. And then you can also find us here on Facebook, Sean Christina Calhoun, and we also are on YouTube. That's right. That's right. That's right. Prettyhomerealty.com or prettyhomerealty pretty I wrote too, at YouTube. But now let's get into the meat of things. So Sean, what do I do? I've shown my clients like 60 homes. We've written six offers and we keep getting outbid. What do I do? I can't tell you because we're <laughs> winning all the offers. <laughs> Actually, there are. Okay. So if you go to the basic principles of writing a good offer, we have some videos on that. You can go to prettyhomeacademy.com. First, you need to implement those basic principles of writing a good offer. That's not what we're talking about today. Right. And today, that, that's like price terms, you know, those yeah. kind of things. Yeah. Today, we're going to actually add a couple layers on top of that to really make it strong. So secret number one, Christina, what is secret number one? for someone who wants to win an offer, what could they do? So one method is to include an escalation clause. So- Whoa, an escalation clause. What in the world is that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we go on, <laughs> Christina nor I are attorneys and we are not giving legal advice. Before you do any of these things, please talk to your attorney and or broker. All right. So like the word escalation implies, it means that you're going to offer more than another offer. How so, can you do that if you don't know what the other offers are? Right. So you would have to word it correctly. You would have to um, have the, the seller's agent provide you with the highest offer, a copy of it, so that you know it's a real legitimate offer. And then you could say something like, buyer to pay a thousand dollars more than a certain, or a thousand dollars more than the highest offer. Than the highest offer. And then you're gonna put a cap mm -hmm. up to this price. Or you don't have to put a cap. You could put a cap. You should put a cap. You should. But you don't have to. It depends on your 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 uh, your buyer. Okay. So an example of this would be like buyer to pay a thousand dollars above the highest offer, up to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So mm -hmm. if their offer was three twenty five, and then they put that escalation clause, they're capping it at the three fifty as long as the seller's agent provides them a copy of that next highest offer. So let's say they're at 325 and then another offer comes in at 330. Automatically, that means your offer as, is at 331 and so forth. So it escalates until you reach that cap. You're always the number one. Mm -hmm. All right, now that's one secret, but Let's just say the home may not appraise for that. 
Okay, so when you have that escalation clause, that's the next problem that you'll run into. However, that's secret number two. How do we, what's secret number two? Secret number two is an appraisal gap guarantee. Okay, and what, 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 what what's that? So <laughs> if your buyers are getting a loan, in order to get that loan, there's going to be an appraisal. So they're basically saying, if the appraisal comes in short, so let's go back to our 325 offer. They're saying, I'll come out of pocket and pay the difference up to the purchase price. So let's say they put in this offer for 325000 and they want to include a $10,000 appraisal gap guarantee. So that means if the appraisal comes in at 315, they're saying we'll cover the gap up to the purchase price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the key with these secrets is that you can have both of them. That was going to be my next question. <laughs> you can have both of them. And that that layered on to the other things again go to prettyhomeacademy.com to see those um the basics you need to get in as far as structuring that offer to make it strong which christina said earlier price terms you know again you'll, you'll hear there are multiple offers highest and best highest meaning price terms the best terms uh watch those videos to see how to get that structured in your offer and then if you add this to the top to the moon yep. all right look that's it for today that's it for today if you like this content if you want more please smash that like and let us know that you're feeling it we'll see you on the next episode